This is a real world example of a Firebox X running PFSense. It's got a two WAN, four LAN configuration right now on all six Ethernet ports, and it's running just fine under over probably 200 megabits of traffic total, I'd say. Uh, over here we have an LCD screen which displays various pieces of information about the system including uptime, current time, CPU information. Uh, but if we press the menu button it will bring up the options which has LCD options and then we have also PFSense commands. And inside PFSense commands there's multiple things we can do uh, such as backing up the RRD graphing information and the DHCP leases which is very important for a compact flash system since if you shut the system off now you would actually lose maybe the last two or three hours of information. Not very vital, but I'd say it's something you might want to keep if you enjoy your graphs. Also, we have the Restart Web GUI in case you manage to ever lock that up somehow, which I think is very rare anymore. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, and uh, rebooting the system itself, which of course may be needed, but certainly I can't do here unless we want hundreds of upset Minecraft players. Uh, and we have configuration management, which is actually very nice for uh, when you're playing with things in the PFSense settings, you might screw something up that'll lock you out of the system itself. This is a great way to get around that. We can back up the user configuration, restore the user configuration, or restore the defaults need be. This won't save a system snapshot to save the system if you manage to brick the operating system, but it's very easy to restore from that anyways, and there's really no way to do that from the LCD that I figured out yet, so hey, maybe in the future. But anyways, continuing on, uh, in the advanced menu, we're able to play with the CF read write modes. We can enable and disable CF writing, which with PFSense, since the compact flash is more of an image that's loaded into RAM and then executed, you can't make changes persistently between reboots unless you enable and disable writing, which we can do right from the LCD screen, which makes things much, much easier for making it op op operating system modifications.